Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday. I've done this once before, but we're gonna do a little like mukbang, get deep, talk, play game. And I have a special guest today, Ayla Woodruff. Yay! Hey guys, I know you're really excited to see me. It's me, Ayla Woodruff. Hey, Thanks well, for having me today. Oh, you're welcome. We're in uh, Ayla's bedroom. We got Jack, Jack in the Box. box. Okay, Ooh. we got French fries. Yeah, I got Ayla a chocolate shake, chicken sandwich. Yeah, I got myself a burrito. Wow. An egg burrito. An egg burrito. I got these cinnamon balls. <gasps> oh. Got another French fry. I got you tacos. Mm. And uh, some mayo and ketchup. Wow. <laughs> I really haven't had fast food in so long. These fries are kind of cold. I know. And stale. I know. I'm so sorry. I was trying to make it nice for the video, but I'm not gonna lie. These fries suck. Mm. Ayla <laughs> is one of George's really good friends. I don't see you a lot. Because of that, I thought we could play a game and it's called We're Not Really Strangers. Sean and I need to get to know each other better. And I've never played this game, but we're, we're gonna try today. So there's three different levels. For the purpose of time, you're supposed to do like a minimum of 15 cards per level, but we're gonna do five. First, open up your chicken sandwich because I really want to buy my burrito. Mmm, a dollar food. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, this is really good. Okay, so in the instructions, it says that to know who starts first, we <laughs> I'm scared. We have to stare at each other. No. We have to stare each other in the eyes, and then the first one to believe. You're an <laughs> actor. I feel like you can do this. Move, honey. What do you mean? But I'm not acting. You have to stare into my eyes, Ayla. <laughs> oh, f oh, I got this. Okay, we, we, we got this. Time. I know. We got this. Okay, okay ready? ready? Why do you have to open them so big? It makes me nervous. Anyone. You know what's weird is like you actually do really but I don't know who and oh, that's great. a terrible answer <laughs> But probably somebody bad. She doesn't want to tell me. No, I promise and I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest throughout this whole game Did you guys hear that? Like you're just like a familiar person. Oh, I got a wild card <laughs> Ask and answer the next question in a different accent both players. The question is what does my phone wallpaper tell you about me. And that's what my wallpaper says. I feel like your wallpaper is a quote because you want to be inspired every day because you felt like maybe you were like in a little bit of a rut and you Damn. needed something to remind you every single day when you looked at your phone. <laughs> it started off like a little janky and then it just went straight back to LA accent. <laughs> I was gonna say in English, but in normal way, what do you think? I don't know, maybe you're like demotivated or you're a little bit of a rut like a little bit ago, so you were like, you know what, I'm gonna put this on my phone and look at it every single day. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking, because like that's how I would think if I were to put that on my phone. It's true, yeah. I feel like I needed motivation and I need to like, every time I see my phone, remind myself, I have to get things done now, because tomorrow I'll be like, why didn't I get, I, oh, did you just <laughs> slide in there and grab that? Because I'm okay. a basic ass. Based off your photo, I think that you love your boyfriend. What? This is accent. You just want the whole world to know about it. I can't do this accent. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I you love it. so much. Never mind. I know. Well, yeah, yeah. I do like, I like George a lot. I know. I love him. Oh. So I have it on my, uh... They have the best relationship in the world, seriously. Oh, And thanks. I like how you both talk so highly of each other, just at all times. So nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Write down something others would never guess about you just by looking at you. Both players compare. I guess something that people don't know about me, like when you first meet me, I mean, most people say think and see that I'm a pretty confident person, but I'm actually per like very insecure about my height because I'm always around so many models. Like I get like very like nervous, like especially walking in with people to like an event or parties or something. I feel like people like just notice instantly like how small I am. And I don't know, sometimes it's like makes me like really insecure. It's not like I, a terrible thing, but I feel like I do get that way. And I've like learned to be like happy with how I am and like happy with my height, but obviously there are times. Well, your height is probably one of my favorite things about you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> but yeah. like it makes you so like, unique in you and there's so many things that like you as a person and your personality can do yeah. that are like the cutest things ever. Okay, 
I did yeah, my- You're feeling your person. <laughs> oh, I love you. I put- I second guess myself on everything I do. I get in my own way so many times because I like am so, so picky. I will- do something and then I'll redo it like five times over because I feel like it's not, not good enough when like the first time was just good enough and then I wasted my time. Yeah. And then I'll get my own head. Do I look kind? Explain. Yes. A hundred percent. I don't know like, yeah, some people I feel like have like a face that just gives off like that like comfortable energy where you're just like, oh, I feel like if I'm like nervous somewhere, she seems like someone who could help me or like someone I could talk to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have such a great smile. Like I feel like your cheeks are like the cutest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. And then also when you get to know her, then you're just like, oh my God, whoa, she's even like 10 times nicer. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. So sweet. Thank yeah. you. Oh, cute. Okay, so we did level one. <laughs> what part of your life works? What part of your life hurts. I guess the part of my life that worked would be I'm extremely happy with my relationship and I'm extremely happy with uh, the growth that I'm making in my career. So I feel like that part of my life works. Certain relationships that I have within my family, I think it's an ongoing thing that comes up a lot. What is your first love's name? and the reason you fell in love with him slash her. Probably like my boyfriend in, my boyfriend in high school. I had one of those things where I was like, this is it, he's the one, like I love him. His name is Bar. Bar? Like B-A-R. Yeah, he is, he's Israeli, so like it's a common name um, in Israel. And I was just like, it was funny because I would tell people like his name and they'd be like, huh? <laughs> like, they're like, oh, your boyfriend like chair or something like forget. <laughs> we're still friends like he checks up on me every now and then we just kind of like fell out of love and yeah but there's actually no hard feelings or anything so i, I feel like that's probably the first person i was, i felt this like deep feeling for and what's the reason you fell in love he cared about me so much i think that's like what made me fall in love with him was like how much effort he just put into our relationship yeah yeah he's really a great guy still is <laughs> What question are you trying to answer most in your life right now? You have a life thing. I think it's more like it's just like work related and trying to figure out like, okay, like what works for me? Like how can I be the smartest person in, in my own situation in order to like, you know, help myself? What am I doing that's right? What am I doing that's wrong? What are you still trying to prove to yourself? Like I'm deserving of like the followers I have, like I'm deserving of the life that like I was given and I feel like I'm constantly like upset with myself that I'm not doing enough or that like I'm not in the position I should be. And given like the resources and the ability to create things I want, like I have a step in to where people don't have that step. I was fortunate enough and I'm not taking advantage of it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm always battling with myself on that and I'm always bringing myself down. <laughs> Are you missing anyone right now? Do you think they're missing you too? Yes. Ooh, George, watch out. <laughs> Just kidding. The person probably I miss the most right now would be my best friend, Michelle, because we've always been super, super tight, but then I feel like just this last year, our schedules have been really um, all over the place. They've been really different. That's probably the person in my life I miss the most because she's like my bestest friend in the whole world. Oh my God, okay, we finished round two, guys. Let's round two. This is a scary one, round three. I know. I feel like you know it's better. I feel like I know you better than I, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna leave like this as like, just best friends. <laughs> I love you, honey, but you need to go back here now. Oh, I'm my burrito. It's a really good burrito. I think you have eggs right now. You know what I don't know, I like only like eggs in the morning. I love breakfast. I would never really eat breakfast. We were in a band. What would How I is that like a really intense question? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. I'll be the drums. <laughs> no, we're not making parts. We're just making the name. It could be Shauna and Ayla. Shayla in a box. Shayla in a box. That's kind of cool. Shayla in a box. Shayla in a box. Next up, Shayla in the box. What can I help you with? I can help you downstairs when we're done with this video. You can help me get, yeah, get to my get car. To the car. <laughs> what answer of mine made you light up? I don't know if it was an answer, but it was just like how when I was talking about like my height and stuff, you were just like, oh, I love your height. It's like the best part about you, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna make me light up. Oh. I was about that. <laughs> when this game is over, what will you remember about me? <laughs> that you're like, 
just as you dated cute. a guy named Bar. <laughs> No, no, no. You're just, like just as cute as a person that like I already know you are. Like you're just like cute and like humble. We love each other. I know. <laughs> I really like you as a person, so I don't, you know. Thank you. Yeah. What do you think my defining characteristic is? Um, like I want to say you're compassionate. Thank you. What parts of yourself do you see in me? We see a lot of each other in each other. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that because I did. Now I know Shauna <laughs> a lot better than I did before. <laughs> now I know you really well. <laughs> anyway. Now you also know us a little bit better. Honestly, like I love doing these these sit down videos where we like eat and we play a game where we answer questions. Leave a comment down below. Like, let me know if you guys enjoy these videos because I'll start doing it more. Like, I'll find people to sit with. Thanks for uh, being on my channel. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for coming over. And Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you soon. And I love you guys. Bye guys! Bye!